Hi, I'm going to do a tutorial on John May's Your Body is a Wonderland. Um, starts off by getting into drop D. So you can get that just by clicking that bottom bottom E note and the uh, D string, turning down until they sound the same. Um, if you need a tab for this, you can go to this website um, and get a tab and follow along. So um, it takes a bit of getting used to uh, the pen, but once you, once you get it down, you start slowly, pick it up, pick up the speed, and uh, you'll have it down in no time. Um, I like to play it by barring the um, the tenth fret there, just leaving the, the top two strings, the bottom two strings open, and then you can use both your uh, index and your middle finger to hit the notes you need to hit. So it starts off on a single note and then you pull up on those two with that hand and then you're playing them together. So before you transition to the next note, you play the same note again at the same time as you come up. transfer some of the em emphasis from the um, B and the A string to include that B string on the 10th fret as well just gives it a bit, uh, bit more higher pitch so then you've got the, uh, the bridge which comes in two parts so for the first part what you want to do is have your ring finger on the uh, the 10th fret for the G and the B string and you want to roll that up so it's just on the G string because um, you have down here your index finger barring on the 8th fret so just those two strings sounds like and then when you add it in you've got and you come back down onto the 10th for the, uh, the uh, last note of that bar Couple of slips in there. And the next part is where the bass note changes from the 8 to the 10. And it's um, it's probably the hardest part of the song. You can either use your um, your middle finger or your thumb depending on what you can uh, reach best with. So here goes nothing. Part of that bridge is just a progression up the neck. You can use your uh, ring finger on the, the low E, which will mute uh, the low D, sorry, which will mute the A string, and your pinky on the G. And that's where your middle finger comes in on the G string. So it's just pluck and slide. So you bring in the, um, the middle finger for the last two. Right, now the real tricky bit of this song is the, uh, the second bridge. And it's played uh, quite differently, I think, every time he plays it. Uh, what I've found best is just to... So it's those two chords, and it's just best to, on that second chord, use a similar pattern that you'd use in, um, in Stop This Train. That sort of pluck and slap. Um, so you start off and you're picking uh, with that there, with the chord, the, uh, the bass D. So 
It doesn't sound as good as when as when John plays it, but um, it sounds all right, and you can just uh, get quicker at that, and um, hopefully you sound better. So what you can use as a fill, um, just before you get to the chorus again at the end, um, is just to buy the tenth fret with your middle finger, or, um, and to cut on the D, G, and the B string with the bass note. And what I've got there is just the top E on the twelfth fret for that for the last plug of that uh, that run. to get from uh, the bridge to the chorus. So then you've got the bit that would probably be called the solo and you can learn that from the tabs but I'll go through it slowly -ish so you can see uh, what fingers I use. So it's mostly um, middle and ring. Mm -hmm. 